we need to find out the derivative of the inverse tangent of 1 minus cosine of x over sine x with respect to x. Let's begin by first considering y to be equals to our given uh, inverse tangent function, which is 1 minus cosine of x divided by sine x. We will label this as equation number 1. And what we'll do, we'll try to simplify the inverse trig function on the right hand side of equation 1 by using trigonometric transformation. So here we have 1 minus cosine of x divided by sine of x. What we can do, we can use an identity here. We know that cosine of x, that's given by 1 minus 2 times sine squared x over 2. So if we write uh, rearrange the terms to get 1 minus cosine of x, this will be equals to 2 times sine squared x over 2. And sine of x, that's equals to 2 times sine x over 2 times cosine of x over 2. So we'll use this and rewrite our given expression as 2 times sine squared x over 2 divided by sine x. So sine x will be 2 times sine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 2. So here we will see that 2 and 2 goes away. 1 sine from x over 2 from the numerator and 1 sine x over 2 from the denominator goes away, which leaves us with sine x over 2 divided by cosine of x over 2. So this ratio is the tangent function. So we have tangent of x over 2. So that means 1 minus cosine x divided by sine x is also tangent of x over 2. Now we can replace this value back into equation number 1 such that we get y equals to tangent inverse of tangent of x over 2. Two. So tangent inverse of tangent of x over 2 will be simply equals to x over 2. So now we have uh, obtained our expression in the simplified form. So we can easily take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. So we have half which is a constant. So that will be multiplied to derivative with respect to x of x. The derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So that means our final answer will be equals to 1. So that means derivative of the inverse tangent function of 1 minus cosine of x divided by sine x, so this value is equals to 1 over 2. Now let's go to the next problem. So here in this problem, we have to differentiate the following inverse tangent function with respect to x. So let's begin by considering y to be equals to the inverse tangent of square root of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x. So what we'll do, we'll try to simplify this given expression by using trigonometric transformation. So we'll begin with 1 square root of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x. So here we're going to use the identity that whenever we have cosine of x, so that's given by 2 times cosine squared x over 2 minus 1, which can be rewritten as 1 plus cosine of x, and that will give us 2 times cosine squared x over Cosine of x can be also expressed as 1 minus 2 times sine squared x over 2, such that if we rewrite this in terms of 1 minus cos x, we will have 2 times sine squared x over 2. So we'll use these two uh, to rewrite a given expression. So we have square root of, so in place of 1 minus cosine of x, we will have 2 times sine squared x over 2. And in place of 1 plus cosine of x, we will have 2 times cosine squared x over 2. So the 2 and 2 gets cancelled and the ratio sine over cosine, so that's tangent function. So we have tangent squared of x over 2. Now tangent squared x over 2 being a perfect square, so its square root will be simply tangent of x over 2. So that means we can rewrite our equation number 1 as y equals to tangent inverse of tangent of x over 2. The tangent inverse of tangent of x over 2 will be simply x over 2. So this is the simplified form of y. Now we'll take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. And this is going to give us half times derivative of x with respect to x, which is simply 1. So our final value will be equals to half. So that means the derivative of the given inverse tangent function with respect to x is equals to 1 over 2. Let's move on to the third problem. So this problem is similar to the previous problem except for the fact now in the numerator we have 1 plus cosine of x whereas earlier it was 1 minus cosine of x and 
in the denominator we had one plus cosine of x but in this case we have one minus cosine of x so we are going to follow the same step we will first we'll consider y to be equals to the inverse tangent of square root of one plus cosine of x divided by one minus cosine of x and let this be equation number one now what we'll do we'll start with one plus cosine of x divided by one minus cosine of x that's square root so we're going to replace one plus cosine of x with two times cosine squared x over two and we'll replace one minus cosine of x with two times sine squared x over two which gives us so the two and two goes away and the ratio cosine over sine that's the cotangent function so we have cotangent squared of x over two cotangent squared being a perfect square we will be left with cotangent of x over two so that means we can rewrite our equation one as y equals to tangent inverse of cotangent of x over two however we need a tangent in this place but we can use the fact that whenever we have tangent of pi over two minus theta so that becomes equals to cotangent of theta now in the case we have x over two which is uh, theta is equals to x over two so that means we can rewrite cotangent of x over two as tangent of pi over two minus x over two means we have y will be equals to tangent inverse of tangent of pi over two minus theta so theta is x over two in doing so it is the tangent inverse of tangent will go away so that leaves us with y equals to pi over two minus x over two now let's take the derivative on both sides with respect to x so that will be derivative with respect to x of pi over 2 minus half half being a constant multiply to derivative with respect to x of x so this is going to be zero first term and the second term will be half multiplied to derivative of x that's simply one so that means derivative of our given inverse tangent function with respect to x that's equals to negative one half let's move on to the fourth problem so here we have to take the derivative of the inverse tangent of cosine of x over 1 plus sine x with respect to x. So let's begin by first considering y to be equals to the inverse tangent of cosine of x divided by 1 plus sine x. So we will label this as equation number 1. So our task will be to simplify the expression on the right hand side but we will begin by considering cosine of x divided by 1 plus sine x now we know that cosine of x so that can be also represented as we can convert cosine to the sine by writing as sine of pi over 2 minus x and sine of x and convert it to cosine function as cosine of pi over 2 minus x so let's rewrite this to get sine pi over 2 minus x in the numerator and in the denominator we have 1 plus cosine of pi over 2 minus x the whole idea behind this is why we have made this transformation is so that we can use the fact the half angle formula we need sine of x that can be given as 2 times sine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 2 so we'll make use of this property in the numerator and for the denominator we have another property 1 plus cosine of x can be given by 2 times cosine squared x over 2 so this is also the half angle formula so let's use this to rewrite our numerator in the denominator so we have 2 times sine so we'll have to take the half angle so that means half of pi over 2 minus x that will be pi over 4 minus x over 2 times cosine of pi over 4 minus x over 2 divided by 2 times cosine squared so we'll take the half of pi over 2 minus x which is pi over 4 minus x over 2 now here we will see that immediately cosine of pi over 4 minus x over 2 from the numerator and 1 from the denominator goes away the 2 and 2 also gets cancelled and that leaves us with sine pi over 4 minus x over 2 in the numerator and in the denominator we have cosine of pi over 4 minus x over 2 now that ratio cosine uh, sine over cosine this is a tangent function so we have tangent of pi over 4 minus x over 2 so that means we have reduced cosine of x divided by 1 plus sine x to tangent of pi over 4 minus x over 2 
This is done because we have an inverse tangent function here. So that means r y will then become tangent inverse of we had cosine x over 1 plus sine x but we will replace it with tangent of pi over 4 minus x over 2. Now when doing so the tangent function will go away and this will leave us with pi over 4 minus x over 2. Now this is a very simple form we can take its derivative on both sides with respect to x. So we have derivative with respect to x of pi over 4 minus half multiplied to derivative with respect to x of x. So pi over 4, that's a constant with a value of 0. Minus half times derivative of x with respect to x is simply 1. So we have obtained dy over dx equals to negative half. So this is the answer. That means we can say that the derivative of our given function, which is tangent inverse of cosine of x over 1 plus sine x, this value is equals to negative half. We have to differentiate the inverse tangent of square root of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x with respect to x. So let's begin. So here we will consider y to be equals to tangent inverse of square root of 1 plus sine x divided by 1 minus sine x. So what we'll do, we'll try to simplify this expression, the trig expression by using a trigonometric transformation. The whole idea would be to convert square root of 1 plus sine x divided by 1 minus sine x to some tangent function. So let's begin. So here we have square root of 1 plus sine x divided by 1 minus sine x. Convert the sine function to the cosine function. So here we will have 1 minus cosine of pi over 2 plus x divided by 1 plus cosine of pi over 2 plus x. So here we are making use of the fact that cosine of pi over 2 plus x, that's simply equals to, so cosine will become sine of x, but since we are in second quadrant where sine is negative, so we have negative sine of x. So this will be now equals to square root of now we can further simplify this where we can use the half angle formula if we have 1 minus cosine of theta that will be 2 times sine squared theta over 2 and 1 plus of cosine theta gives us 2 times cosine squared theta over 2 so we'll use this half angle formula so in a numerator we have 1 minus cosine of pi over 2 plus x so that becomes 2 times sine squared so here we'll have to take the half of pi over 2 plus x which becomes pi over 4 plus x over 2. Whole thing divided by the half angle formula for 1 plus cosine of pi over 2. So that becomes 2 times cosine of cosine squared of pi over 4 plus x over 2. Fine. So let's further simplify the 2 and 2 goes away. So the ratio sine over cosine is tangent. So we have tangent squared of pi over 4 plus x divided by 2 and since tangent squared is a perfect square this leaves us with tangent of pi over 4 plus x over 2 so we've successfully converted this expression to a tangent function now we can replace this in our uh, equation number one we will have y equals to tangent inverse of tangent of pi over 4 plus x over 2 which simply gives us pi over 4 plus x over 2. Now we can take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. So derivative of y with respect to x will be derivative with respect to x of pi over 4 plus half multiplied to derivative of x with respect to x. So the derivative of pi over 4 will be 0 because pi over 4 is a constant and derivative of x with respect to is simply 1. So this gives us the value 1. So hence we can say that the derivative of tangent inverse of the function square root of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x with respect to x that simply equals to 1 half. Let's move on to the final problem. Now here we need to differentiate tangent inverse of secant of x plus tangent of x with respect to x. So let's begin. So we will consider y to be equals to the inverse tangent of secant of x plus tangent of x. Let's label this as equation number 1. So our task will be to simplify the expression on the right hand side. So we will begin with secant x plus tangent x. Our goal will be to convert this to a tangent function. So let's begin. So here we have secant of x 
plus tangent of x. Now converting secant to the cosine. So this is the reciprocal of the cosine function. So we have 1 plus 1 over sine x, cosine of x plus sine of x divided by cosine of x. Combining the two terms, we have 1 plus sine x divided by cosine of x. So what we'll do, we'll convert the sine x into numerator to cosine and the cosine into denominator to sine. So this will give us 1, we'll have minus cosine of pi over 2 plus x divided by sine of pi over 2 plus x. Right. This is, let me write it down here. So whenever we have cosine of pi over 2 plus x, so that means cosine will get converted to a sine function. But pi over 2 plus x means we are in the second quadrant. So that means in the second quadrant, cosine function is negative. So the result will be negative. And in place of sine of pi over 2 plus x, our sine will get converted to a cosine function. And in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So we our value will be positive x. So that's why we have replaced cosine of x with sine pi over 2 plus x and positive sine x with negative of cosine of pi over 2 plus x. Now in doing so, what we can do here is apply the half angle formula. So our half angle formula says that if we have 1 minus cosine of x, that becomes equals to 2 times sine squared x over 2. So in our case, we have pi over 2 plus x. So that means in our numerator, we have 2 times sine squared. So half of pi over 2 plus x will become pi over 4 plus x over 2. Similarly, we can also apply the half angle formula to the denominator. So here we have sine of x, which is 2 times sine of x over 2 multiplied to cosine of x over 2. So that means we can rewrite our denominator as 2 times using the half angle formula. So we have half of pi over 2 plus x, which is pi over 4 plus x over 2 multiplied to cosine of pi over 4 plus x over 2. So one sine and the two and two goes away. One sine from the numerator and the one from the denominator goes away. That leaves us with sine of pi over four plus x over two divided by cosine of pi over four plus x over two. And this ratio is equals to we have tangent of pi over four plus x over two. So that means we have successfully reduce secant of x plus tangent of x and to its tangent form which is tangent of pi over 4 plus x over 2. Now we have y equals to tangent inverse of secant of x plus tangent of x but we can replace it with the tangent of pi over 4 plus x over 2 and this is going to give us y is equals to pi over 4 plus x over 2 and when you take the derivative on both sides with respect to x which is going to give us 1 half. So this is the value of the derivative of tangent inverse of secant of x plus tangent of x, which is one half.